Now I want to talk to those who have been raped or molested. This is not their choice to have a baby. In fact, they've, they might be way too young to have a baby and are permanently scarred to have this kid. And it, and it just tortures their mind over and over to think of this child. Now I just want to address this situation and say I, I am sorry if this ever happened to you. And that just to consider the baby inside of you as life. And she is life or he is life. And he has a purpose and his testimony of what you've been through and that baby been through can save others. From maybe aborting children. Or maybe impact others to walk a more healthy lifestyle. It has a purpose in this life. I want to talk to Christians about this topic as well. We have probably slandered a lot of people who was abortionists or who are gay or, or, or so on and so on. I've said some pretty profound things and evil things I have seen on YouTube. Um, what are we doing as Christians to help this issue? As my pastor Aaron White has said, why aren't we adopting kids? Why aren't we bringing in those kids who are in the foster homes? Or saying to those who are going to be aborting their kids, I will take care of your kids because I know you're too poor. Why aren't we picking up our slack on this deal? Do we really care or do we just want to open our mouths? And what are we going to do for those who are going through this terrible crisis in their life? I want to give you all hope. I want to all give you hope and say don't give up. I know to have a child at a young age or probably any age is, is, is probably a scary thing. And, you know, this is just what I've researched on my own. And, you know, I just want to encourage you guys, you know, to have a blessed life. And um, God loves you guys, man. Bless you.